Now, I wanted to show you this real quick before I stop. Um, this is a paper that Steve Bogan sent me, and one of the interesting things about working with a company like BioHorizons is that the main guys that I work with at BioHorizons are all biomedical engineers, and so um, they come up with some really interesting stuff. And when Steve sent me this paper, I was just kind of blown away because I don't know anything about microbiology at all. And, and this paper shows that you can basically take a microstructured surface, and this is based on the design of shark scales. Shark scales do not develop biofilms because they have little ridges on them, and the ridges break up biofilm formation. And so they developed this surface called the sharklet surface, and this is biofilms growing on a smooth surface, this is biofilms growing on the sharklet surface, and you can see them here. These form a coherent layer, the ones on the sharklet surface get broken up into segments, and it slows down the growth. Bacteria do not follow contact guidance rules, but they grow best if they can form a coherent layer. So the question was, what, what happens on our surface? Because our surface doesn't look that much different than a surface with these microgrooves on it. Well, we did a little study with Deepak Saxena in our Department of Basic Sciences. Um, we cultured strep mutans on machined RBT and laser lock surfaces, and this was a preliminary study. Um, we only did a few samples of this, and I literally came out of this lab on Monday with the data. Um, the preliminary results kind of indicated that we really, really need to go into a full study on this. And, and basically, if you look at a typical machine surface, you get these coherent biofilms that form. If you look at an RBT surface, you get also these coherent biofilms. And these are unprocessed using an environmental microscope, so you can actually see the biofilms as a black mass on the surface. Uh, and you can see this here, and actually, if you leave the beam on long enough, you start burning off some of the extracellular matrix, and you can actually start to see some of the individual microbes. On the laser lock surface, we got something very different. You don't see a coherent mass of biofilm. This is the most we could find on it, and most of the biofilm is in these grooves on the surface. It's not on the ridges. So we're going to go into a full study with this, because this looks a lot like what's happening on the sharklet surface. And for years, people have been asking me why we don't get plaque formation on the surface. And I always thought it was because we got a very good soft tissue attachment. There may be more to it than that. This surface may actually have some anti-biofouling capabilities that we never even knew existed.